Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Neelam and I make videos on all about making and selling candles. Happy 2022, you guys. Um, happy New Year. For my first video for the New Year, I'll just give you guys some tips and tricks before selling your candles on Instagram. So the five things I'm going to be mentioning in today's video is stuff that I personally did from my experience of selling on Instagram. Here are five things you need to know before selling your candles on Instagram. Number one thing you need to do before you start selling your candles on Instagram or any platform for that matter is you need to know your cost of goods. If you don't know already what cost of goods mean, how much does it cost you to make your candle? You need to know your cost of goods before you start selling your candles on Instagram. In order to determine your selling price, you're going to have to know your cost of goods. If you never calculated cost of goods before, I made a step-by-step -step video on how to calculate your cost of goods when you're selling your candles. I will link that here. No cost of goods for a candle is the same because we're all getting our supplies from different candle suppliers but it is important to know how much does it cost to make your candle to sell your candles on any platform you need to know how much does it cost you to make a candle to know if you're going to be making a profit if you're going to be making a loss and in order to determine selling price you need to work out your cost of goods the second thing you need to know is your selling price this is important before you start selling your candles on Instagram because you need to know how much are you going to sell your candles for. This will be influenced by your cost of goods because how much your cost of goods are to make one candle. You need to now think about, okay, how much am I going to sell that one candle? I don't have much experience with selling price. I do know that some people times their cost of goods times four for a retail price and cost of goods times two for wholesale. I know a rule of thumb is you need to be making a profit. Do not price your goods so close to the cost price that at the end of the day you're not making any profit. There's different types of selling prices out there. You get candle companies that sell their candles at a very affordable pricing point. It all depends. You can go for the high prices or you could go for the affordable um, candle prices. Um, your selling price needs to be higher than your cost because you need to be making a profit and not a loss and to cover up any expenses i would say that make sure you are selling your candles and you are putting a price on your candles that you are happy with the third thing you need to know before selling your candles on instagram is shipping are you going to be charging shipping with your candle price are you going to be charging shipping separate to your candle price or will you be charging shipping once people have ordered a set amount of candles there's multiple ways of going shipping i know most people add shipping to their selling price so that it will be free shipping and that makes people want to buy the candle more because they don't actually know how much you're charging for shipping and it just goes easy on the eyes for the customer when they see oh free shipping you could also do that or you could charge shipping separately that's what i did they had to pay separate for my candle and for the shipping or you could do the third method is buy 10 candles or more and get free shipping that's what some companies do as well you also need to think about how will you calculate your shipping costs because are you going to add the boxes to your selling price of a candle? Are you going to add the materials, the shipping materials to your um, candle price? That's something you need to consider. See which shipping strategy works for your candles and what works for you. The fourth thing you guys need to do is candle photography photos. This is extremely important. Make sure that you have good candle photos in order to upload onto Instagram. As selfish as it sounds, people won't look at your candles if the pictures are not nice. They will just keep scrolling on Instagram without even thinking to look at your description, to look at your page, because if the candle photos do not catch the eye, they will not bother to even look at it. You need to think creatively, how can I express the candle? I have a floral candle and I used flowers that represented the notes of the candle and I placed that in the candle photography. So that correlated to, oh, it's a floral candle, it smells like roses. So that's something you guys need to do. Make sure the lighting in your candle photos are good if it's dull you need to know how to edit it you need to know what time to take your candle photos during golden hour i made a step-by-step -step video on how to take your candle photos so i will link that here i explained everything on editing on what props to use on what software what time i take my candle photos so you can even take it on your phone you guys you do not need a fancy camera to take your photos just your simple phone good lighting and some props that will help you sell your candles on Instagram. Also, you know your candles are good. It's just that the photo isn't great. So make sure the photo describes your candle, expresses the value of your candle, and then you'll know that people would wanna check out your page and see what else you have to offer. My fifth tip for you guys is you need to know SEO when you're selling your candles on Instagram. 
If you don't know what SEO means, it means search engine optimization, basically the definition of SEO. What that basically means is that is your page searchable on Instagram? Will someone be able to type in your candle brand name and will be able to find your candles on Instagram? This is important because there's so many people on Instagram and you do not want your candle page to not be, be searchable on Instagram and think now why is no one wanting to follow me? Why is no one wanting to come and check out my candles? So make sure that your page is searchable and is optimized. I'm going to give you guys some tips on what I did to make my candle page searchable. Go on Instagram, you'll see that by the name it's highlighted in black. So make sure that your company name is on that section because when they go type in iridescent candle co you will immediately come up on search and then they'll be finding you there second is your bio on your instagram bio you need to now say what is it that you're selling you sell candles it's made out of soy wax you use high quality fragrance oil where are you based this is also very important because when customers are looking on instagram as to where they want to buy candles from they also put in the location of where they are so if you're based in I don't know cape town for example i'm going to use me i always put in iridescent candle co cape town so that they know okay this candle company is based in cape town um i can buy from them so you also need to put in your area where are you based your name and what is it that you sell because those are the few things that people look at before they even look at your feed don't take a name that is that is already taken the five tips that you guys heard were things you need to do before you start selling candles on Instagram, but I also have three more tips that I would like to end this video off so that you guys can just have a better understanding. And um, I feel there's three tips are important and it's something you need to know. The sixth tip is how to market your candles. Yes, Instagram is where a lot of people are and it's very visual. You need to know how to market your candles, have good candle photos, do reels. Instagram just recently doing reels like TikTok. So make videos about your candles explain what your candles are try to get the word out post um consistently because that will let the instagram algorithm know that you are posting frequently people are interacting with your candles more so then you'll go on the explore page so that's something you need to do make reels that are very nice and appealing to your customers there's also such thing as instagram ads i also did some instagram ads and that brought in a lot of people to my page and even some people from the instagram ad even bought my candles so i would say instagram ads are something you could do but i'm going to be making a separate video talking about marketing how to market your candles seven tip is very important you guys you need to make sure that your candles are safe to burn you cannot be selling candles on instagram or any platform without knowing and without testing if it's safe to burn how long does it burn for is it hot to touch have warning labels under the candles in order to educate your customer how to burn the candle how long they need to be lighting that candle for include candle care guides in your candles and some candle care information on your instagram educating the customer on how to use the candle because you are selling the candle you are responsible so you need to make sure that when you are selling your candles and they're going out to the customer they are properly educated on what they need to do because some people just light the candle and leave it we don't know better it's your responsibility as a candle maker in order to educate your customers so make sure in your instagram they are candle care guides candle care videos the eighth thing that i'm going to mention is important because there's a thing called story highlight on instagram all the time and you'll be able to use it when you put up a story you can save it to your highlights important highlights that you need to know when you have on your instagram is your selling price highlights how much will you be selling your candles for the shipping info how much will you be charging for shipping what is the best way to contact you email or dm where are you situated you need to have that and also you can further describe your candles in the different highlights your scents your wax what makes your brand different your candle story your brand story so those are the highlights make use of them and further explain to the customer and the people that come on your page what makes your brand different i know it's a candle what can you teach about a candle it's just the candle you light it finish but i like to think of this differently it's a journey a like a community a message so teach people about your message do you have a brand message if you do what is it the brand message what is it that you want your candles to make them feel what do you want to contribute to their lives you know with your candles so teach people about your candles if it's your wicks your fragrance oil or your jars that make you different tell them because as a customer they just see a candle that's it 
but you as the owner know how much work and effort you put into creating that candle every jar every scent name um, label design is all unique so teach them like oh this is relates to the brand message this is how i want my candle to make you feel um, the notes in this candle will make you feel this way educate them tell them about your product and make it in a way that is fun and relatable for example for my candles my candles represent mindset and self-love and making you feel confident so i make sure that people know that it relates to the candle names one of my candle names is confident so i want people to know that when they are choosing this candle i want them to feel confident i want them to feel strong they will probably relate to your story and feel very um engrossed into the journey and will follow you support you because you are different and unique thank you so much for watching i upload every tuesday and friday if you have any questions please leave them down below please don't forget to follow me on instagram at iridescent candle co and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys bye.